Today's How to Build is on Lord Business and Vitruvius from The Lego Movie. So The Lego Movie is out today. Woo! Uh, by the time this video is posted, I will have seen it. But as of making this video, I hasn't seen it yet. But I'm going to the midnight showing Thursday, uh, the 6th. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, so I made a Lego Movie trailer parody um, a little while back. And... Uh, I had to make Lord Business in it, but I had not purchased the expensive Lord Business's evil lair. So I had to use uh, stuff I had on hand to build Lord's Business. A couple people asked me how I built his helmet and stuff, so I thought I'd show you how you can build your own Lord Business without buying the super expensive set. And while we're at it, my own Vitruvius as well. So the first thing that you'll need for Lord Business is President Business. Uh, President Business comes in the uh, collectible minifigure series for the Lego movie, so that's an easy way to get him. Uh, he's very easy to identify by his blocky hairpiece when you're feeling up the bags. Um, we won't actually need that for Lord Business, but um, you could also just try to recreate him, find a gray uh, suit piece, uh, sort of head that has a regular face or an angry face, and some gray pants, uh, and then you've got your basic... Um, present business down. Uh, now we're going to be building on top of him, so um, this was uh, what I found to be a good piece of neck armor for him. This is from the uh, UFO or Insectoid series back from the 90s or early 2000s, I believe. Um, he also needs a big long red cape. Um, I don't have the one that they used in the set, but this big old wing piece from one of the creator sets for a dragon wing, uh, I think works pretty well. So we're actually going to put these on now, um, put his head on, and now we're going to go build his helmet and legs and then put those back on this guy. Another big red cape piece that might work is the big cape from Constructazerg from the Toy Story series. These are the pieces you're going to need to build Lord Business's helmet. So we're going to start with two by two plates, one in red and one in black. Then we're going to take this black um, one by two plate with uh, one by four of studs on the front, put that in front of it. Take two black corner plates, stick those on like so. Uh, underneath this we're going to do some two by two upward slopes in red, or if you've got just one by twos you can use a couple of those. So on each side, then over here we're going to do these um, one by two downward slopes in black. One going up each. Going to do a two by two red tile in the center there. Some red coffee mugs up here to be the evil horn thingies. On the front we're going to put one of these one by two jumper plates in black. And then a one by one um, transparent yellow uh, round plate to top it off. Uh, so now we can grab our Lord Business in the making and put his helmet on. Looks pretty good. <laughs> These are the pieces you're going to need to build one of his legs. So double this to build both of his legs. So I'm going to show you how to build his left leg. If you want to build his right leg, you would just do the uh, mirror of everything I do here. So the bottom, we're going to use one of these 3x3 um, three three black plates that are cut off into a uh, sort of diamond shape, and a 2x3 plate. If you don't have one of these, you could substitute maybe one of these wing plates in and make this a 1x3 instead. You could also... Uh, try one of these half octagon plates uh, just not use the back row there but let's assume you have one of these and a two by three gonna start with that gonna take some of these one by two plates in transparent red if you've got them uh, if not you could just use regular red gonna do a little square down here around the bottom and do one up the front like that. So that's that layer. Then we're going to use a uh, downward corner slope, 2 by 2 in black. Put that here. 
one by two downward slope in black. Um, over here, we're going to do a one by three brick in black and a one by two downward slope at the front. That's the bottom. Once you've got that, we're going to take some of these one by two bricks with the lines on them, make the vertical lines go this way. Uh, then over here, we're going to do a one by two downward slope. Do a corner brick, connect all of that, flip around, do the vertical lines over here, one by one brick. Then we're going to take one of these uh, big one by two downward slopes that are three bricks tall, put that on the front, some one by two downward slopes to connect these pieces. I'm going to do a quick mini build here. So some 1x2 plates in transparent red and black. I think in the actual set these would be transparent orange, but I thought black looked better here. So alternating those up until we've got seven plates stacked up, four in transparent red, three in black. Zoom out for this last step here. I'm going to take the bottom leg construction, take this new mini 1x2 uh, plate constructions, stick that on top. And then another of these one by two downward slopes that are three bricks tall. That is the leg. Then uh, build again the same leg but facing the opposite direction. So now you put a uh, mini figure of President Business, Lord Business, on top of the legs. And there is Lord Business in all of his glory. He's too tall to fit on this frame, basically. See? Legs or hat. Um, but this is a way you can build them home without buying the $60, $70 set. Uh, one disadvantage to building him this way is that his cape is longer than his feet, so it kind of drags on the ground a little bit. Uh, you might want to trim that down with some scissors. Um, in the parody uh, trailer I did, I didn't use his full length legs or that uh, cape on his back, so basically I just used his legs be that tall because that was as tall as I needed him for the trailer. So here's a quick look at my home-built Vitruvius. For uh, his legs, I used a princess uh, leg, so it's got sort of a dress on it. Sort of matched uh, the uh, white flowing uh, gown that he has. For the torso, I used this surfer torso. Whatever white torso you use doesn't really matter because it's going to get covered up by his beard. But I thought this one did a good job of kind of looking like his hippie look. I've given him brown hands to uh, match his head. Uh, the head I used, I think, is from an uh, old Spider-Man set. I believe it might have been an ambulance driver. Uh, I thought it was uh, close to matching the Morgan Freeman's uh, look in the movie. I think they used a slightly lighter version of the flesh color for uh, the actual Vitruvius. Um, for the cape... I didn't have anything in blue like his cape actually is, so I used this Harry Potter cape with the stars inside of it because I thought these stars were a nice touch. Put that on. Uh, big white beard. Uh, there's a variety of beards now. His is actually kind of braided, but this old wizard beard looks pretty good. Put his head on again. Um, and then for white hair, I didn't have any white flowing hair, so I used this um, short white hair. Uh, and then for his staff, I just used one of these uh, transparent green crystals from the Power Miner series and one of these long white rods, and it sticks in just like that. And then he's got his uh, staff, which is actually looks like a lollipop, discarded lollipop in the movie. So yeah, that was my how to build on how to make... So yeah, that was my how to build on Lord Business and Vitruvius using pieces you might have at home rather than buying the $70 set they're in. I uh, hope it helps you in case you want to make these characters from the Lego Movie. Uh, Lego Movie is out today uh, in theaters. Uh, hope you all go and see it and enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Lego Movie and uh, more requests for future how to build videos. Mm -hmm.